this hurts my eyes. The light is so bright. My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the parakinesiology department. I believe that I've discovered a code omega paranatural Ooh, code omega. residing within the bureau itself. Right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Uh did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. Okay. Ow. Ow. Can I throw things into it? Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. Oh, she fed people into it. No, that's cool. That's fine. I mean, it, ha it is targetable. I feel like I gotta throw something into it specifically? Maybe? Hmm. Maybe I have to do something else first. I crashed. Did Ati need barrels full of hazardous biological material? Seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants... Yeah, I feel like maybe it's running a little too hot, and I need to chill it out a little bit first. Ooh, a thing. Ah! Hello, my darling! Hello, my- Oh shit, I suddenly forgot the song. Hello, my darling. Something, something, hello, my summertime girl. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not healthy. Yeah, yeah. Hello, my darling. Hello, my baby. Hello, my ragtime gal. The old, the old, uh, uh, the frog on those old cartoons. Won't you send me a smile? What's this? Do a thing. All right, coolant pumps. Time to chill out, man. Well, that's not good. Oh, this place is gonna come down. me dick go be spoopy elsewhere in a sea coolant pop go, go. go to shit fix it fast if the plan goes boom we can throw the spoon in the corner Throw the spoon in the corner. That's a turn up phrase, all right. Oh, thanks for reminding me. I will make the new weapon when I go back to that control point.
My old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that shit. He is He's trying to shit. Keep in. What now? He? My old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that shit. He is very clever. He's trying to sneak in. The fuck? He got him caught with his hand in the fish trap. Not what I meant to do, but okay. Okay, we're gonna need like the extra, extra strength Drano for this. Oh, fuck! Okay then. <laughs> okay, uh, while we're here, let us make a new we weapon. Oh, they're shining so much source. Um, we have a new weapon form. Uh, shit, wrong button. Um, F. Hell yeah! We got ourselves a nice little pistol! Bam! Bam! That's pretty cool. That's what I meant. Inventory. There we go. I knew I had a weapon mod I could put on it. My word. Replace the parts. Right, did I go backwards? Right. Right! Cool punks is right there. A little bit of deja vu. Oh, this place is gonna come down. Gorbachev, tear down this wall! Well, there's no stamina bar, so I can just run to my heart's content. Ah, we're brick. Okay, shotgun for close range. Gotcha. Loud and clear. Fucking explodey boys being like floating by their navel doesn't always fucking gets me. Absolutely silly. Come on. I know you're over there. There you are. What the fudge? All right. So we got the first pump working. The second pump is blocked by the clog. Let's try not to fuck ourselves up this time. Let it kind of 
spew its thing for a second and then uh, we move on in. Oof. Yep. Thing I've ever seen. All right. I was just sliding back. God, this is awful. I hate this. I hate this so much. What the fuck is this thing? It's just spewing everywhere. Ugh. <laughs> this is awful. That's right. Fuck off. Go away. Go away. Back. Back. This is so bad because I I fucking was doing house cleaning earlier today. I don't want to be reminded by all of this. I don't even have gloves. Granted, if I could just like shoot my mess away, perhaps it would be a little bit more entertaining. Yeah, that's, uh, that's concerning. Um, I think that was it. I think that cleared the claw? Yeah, I think that cleared it. Let's see if we can put a power source into the thing. Ha! I knew there would be something hidden in one of these hidey holes. This is why we always explore everywhere. We'll probably have to do another wave of shots. Alright, that's two pumps. I feel like there's probably a third because video game logic or story narrative logic. And yep, I see numero three up here. Hi -ya! Manual labor? What are you talking about? You just telekinesis them. Wait, wait, wait. Before we fight, let me make sure I get all of the class 5 material. Alright. Now we can fight. Mono y mano. Not, not that I have mono or anything. Give me something, anything. Give her a hi ya! And then I kick her, sir. What? You don't think she's one of the Romanovs, do you? Recently rewatched uh, Anastasia. The, uh, the bat is one of my favorite characters. He is very memorable. It also has a lot more songs than I remember. So I only really remember the, uh, In the dark of the night, they will find you. And, um... I mean... What the f... 
trooper second class. God damn. I mean, when I think musical, I think more like plays, to be honest. Or like almost constant musicalness. Like, it's not that it was constantly a musical. It just had more songs than I expected. Come on. I gotta run out of bullets eventually. Ow, 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 fuck, 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 fuck. Ow. Alright, maybe I should upgrade health next time. Uh, it seems like a... I thought I would be fine, but these guys can pack a mean bullet. To the face. Elevators are eternal. All right. His reinforcements. Bugs me that I don't one shot them with my physics objects. <laughs> yes. No, I had some allies, but now they're dead. Oh well. What is that swing I'm hearing? Is it this? No. Do not have more circles. Frustrating. All right, we need to hit energy converters. Central maintenance, energy converters. All right. Thankfully, they have giant signs. What the fuck? I thought we were done with combat. What the fuck are you doing over here? Did y'all not get the memo? Combat was over. Where are you? Oh, you're flying. Ah, shit. We have more flying enemies?
Oh, we uh, extinguished him. In more ways than one. <laughs> oh, more explosions. That's not good. We need to hurry. Yes, we do need to hurry. I'm paying attention to my health. Pay attention to your surroundings. Okay, dude. Uh, where's that energy converters? Da da chick. Da da chum. Take with me a physics object. Come with me and you'll see a world of physics -y proportions. Oh, this place is gonna come down. Get him! Get him! Alright, uh, cleanse control point. Hell yeah. Alright, alright, alright. All left, alright, all left. It's fried up. You need to fix it. Energy converters. Okay. Kobe! Fucking full send it. Someone spawn behind me. God, I hate when they do that. Oh, that health bar. Hell yeah. Ooh. What do we got in the shelter? Um, we got a box. Inside the box is an energy boost. Alright, it's kind of useless. More combat. Where is that coming from? There you are! Cheeky little bugger! that opens the door, but sure, whatever, I'll take it. Come on, poke your head out. I dare ya! Ha-ha! Alright, uh, we need to power this area. And rule of three, we need to find an Another section. Um, why the fuck can I not get in there? What the? What the fuck? What the fuck? 
Oh. I can climb. That's right. Duh. Huh! Jump the fence. Um, did I miss an energy cube? Oh, there we go. Let's go lift the lockdown. All right. Lift the lockdown. Lift, lift, lifty, lifty, lift. We're gonna have another boss fight. Just to lift the lockdown. Hold on, that physics object hitting him like as it was flying to me? Hell yeah. I can get behind that. Got him. Okay. Oh, I thought there was a file to snag. No, nope, probably just another point to control. Cleanse it. It's like a juice cleanse, but you know, with more strangeness. Ah, oh, yes, a gun controlled power center. That makes perfect sense. Uh, hmm. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You There's a get to know each file other. in the other room? There it is. Alright. Um, it's been a minute, so let's check our stuff. Using charge. I don't think I have charge unlocked. I don't. I don't even have the option. Spin. Sure. Did I not unlock it? Ooh, I can only have two equipped. I see. Good to know. Let's see. Um, collectibles. Unread. Hiss elevated. Alright, his trooper. Baru expenditures. Staffing, threat valence, blank. Data center initiative, construction, blank, blank. Minor office equipment, janitorial, blank. Mold removal, livability costs. Alright, so nothing interesting there. Security log, visitor check in. Trench, trench. Bill Everett, custodian? Huh. Carol, I 
wonder if Bill got fired. Hmm. Hero utility. Objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call these indi individuals para-utilitarians. Potency of these abilities depends on the para-utilitarian. Using a blank object of a power as an example, some para-utilitarians can achieve a throw distance of blank, while others are only capable of as little as blank. I think this is the one that we have, the, um, the floppy disk. The OG floppy, back when the floppies were the big floppy. What exactly determines an individual's paranatural competence is unknown. It is largely believed that some blank exists within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be exercised. To continue my analysis, I have officially requested access to the Northmore records, considering he is one of the most accomplished para-utilitarians that Baru has ever seen. Dr. Dogling is still considering this request. Technological limitations. The oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or transmit any blank signal. Radio waves are only transmittable are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even those are often unreliable. I wonder if this is electromagnetic signal. Or Wi, or Wi-Fi, maybe Wi-Fi. If the power of collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural zeitgeist. Is the word I would think goes here for the oldest house to absorb, recognize them. Similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered status. Technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the blank to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here. Tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Blank agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. <laughs> oh shit, the exploding vape pens. This is where I came from. The oldest house. Ah, the butt summary. A spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Butt, where Buru agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Buru agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity, located at blank blank, which had been connected to a total of blank disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house, blank days later, found in the sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the butt's home, home's closet, disappeared during this incident. Huh, so the oldest house is not a static thing. It is constantly growing. Interesting. I wonder if the oldest house then is an like extra dimensional incursion sort of thing. Sort of like it's um, something is coming into our reality and the only way it was able to understand our um, existence was by the things that were around it at the time of the incursion and so it established itself as a house of that time and it's still growing because it is further you know coming into or intersecting with our reality so you know the house is growing but it is still shaped by that initial um contact event that's kind of kind of what i'm thinking about the old house According to their testimony, the agents had been transported from the butt home to a roadside motel and discovered a room key by performing a ritual. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside the room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the home's owner and the other locals of butt have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, 
excuse me. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the butt home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, blank light cords have been found in the oldest house, located in the blank and blank sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly this link operates is blank. So I wonder if the motel is going to be a secondary fast travel location, perhaps. Hmm. So like maybe we're like at the oldest house, and then we have other places we will have to take control of or transport. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple weeks ago, and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. <laughs> Panopticon, keep an eye out for it. Okay. So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the... S I'm sorry, what? A merry-go-round horse? Do not try to contain it on your own, and definitely don't bind it to yourself. Is it like the entire horse? Like, is it just a horse in like one of the cartoonish merry-go-rounds? Or is it like whole and all just flying through? Huh. Uh, Willow uh, National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to blame. So, another awe behind us, and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign, and perfectly executed. That doesn't mean we can stop monitoring blank, blank, and blank for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. Tomasi out. I know there is some concern regarding our operations exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from, from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, they will be granted by the U.S. Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us as if we weren't even there. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms in how we operate. Our being here is no accident. Clog complaint. That gross blockage of water, that gross blockage down in the water systems is bad. What the fuck is it? Where does it keep coming from? Why the hell does Andy keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like he can understand him. Of course, he acts like we can understand him too. Guess that's just his brand of crazy. I'm going to try out a new drain cleaner. Extreme strength. That's what I was saying. You know, I got to recommend. It worked very well for me. Um, 4 or 5 ACP. Uh, that worked really well in clearing the blockage. You got to really lay it on there thick, though. Um... But uh, it certainly got the job done eventually. Uh, was it? Mail to complaint. Hey, Bozer, get this. The accounting department still says they haven't received my expense reports. They say the receipt probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift or a threshold or some fuckery. And that if I don't have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for reimbursement. This is such bullshit. Why do we even use these fucking tubes if they just spit out our mail in some other goddamn dimension? I'm just bending here before I make a formal complaint. Useless pieces of shit. Shifted bathroom. Listen. I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. You can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. You know, I can kind of commiserate with Rodriguez here. You know, having having a good shitter at work can uh, be really, really nice. Having a bad shitter can be really, really awful. 
the game night. Hazard owes me 20 bucks. Arish, still on a fucking win streak. Someone please figure out how he's cheating. Thompson, suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident. Guy, I owe you 60 bucks. I brought beers last time, so it's Heppenstall's turn. Remus. Huh. And meh, 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 meh. All right. Uh, let's go talk to Emily. Think the central executive? All right, Emily. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk. Listen, Emily. What you got for me? Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. Okay. The slides okay. created doorways to other places. Okay. Bad things happened. We made first contact. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. Oh yeah, but repress those help. memories. <laughs> through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. Oh. We managed to she... turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways... were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. Oh, but around no. here, I assume everything's classified. Lost projector? When I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. Some poor teacher is just putting on the uh, projector. Sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. Okay. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible. You got an A plus. And we don't even use a letter grade. The database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. Okay. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Alright, we're level 3 now. 
Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? These cutscenes make me think of like something's coming. Playing Dishonored, and they always played a cutscene before each mission. They turned to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Uh, okay, Ati.